this is Arik from Firearms Nation, and today we're going to do something different. So on Mondays, what I'd like to do is start doing gear reviews, whether it's a gun, whether it's clothing, whether it's any other type of tactical gear or anything related towards the firearms world. Now, some of these reviews are going to be from one of several categories. It could be something I bought something I got a discount for, something that was given to me for product review. So take it for what it's worth. And I'll let you know each time what kind of review this is, because obviously, you know, if something is given to you, someone might feel, well, hey, he's just saying this because he got it for free. Now, I'm going to try not to do that. I want to give you guys unbiased evaluations of different products. But sometimes it just might be not a review, but hey, here's a product that you might not know about and just wanted to learn something about or see what it's like up close and personal. So that's where we're going to go. And today we're going to start with a review on two different articles of clothing. Both of these are from 511. Now, granted, 511, for those of you that don't know me, is one of my sponsors. I shoot competitively for Team SIG and 511 is a sponsor. But, however, red alert, these products were bought by me at full retail value. It was something that I wanted. Not something that was given to me for competition or whatever. This is gear that I wanted. So that being said, let's get on with the review. First up is the Vapor Light short. Now the Vapor Light short uh, according to 511, was uh, built to be like their workout shorts. Uh, I have a pair of those workout shorts, the Vandal shorts. Very lightweight, very uh, flexible fabric, cool stuff if you're working out. So if if just by looking at it, you'll notice that it has a uh, lots of pockets. There's there's a total of eight pockets on it. Uh, two in the front, actually four in the front, four in the back, two on each side. They layer on top of each other. The, the pockets are uh, deep in some aspects and uh, like the top pocket and the rear is pretty shallow. It has an 11 inch inseam. And as you can see, it's got some pretty robust uh, belt loops. The, especially the one in the rear. I don't know who's been doing the designs on the new 511 pants and shorts. They keep adding this reinforced rear belt loop. Uh, I really like it. You can see the stretchy material. It it bounces back very well. It's It has a, like I, uh, I think it's more like a silk type spandex feel. It's very loose and very comfortable. You can feel the wind blowing through on, 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 windy's day, on windy days. Up next is the Apex Pant. 5.11 also states that it is a 7.2 ounce flex tack stretchy canvas uh, for their fabric. And that is kind of the same material that is in their strike pants. And if you haven't tried their strike pants, they're awesome. They're definitely an upgrade from the standard tack light pants. I know we're kind of nerding out on the different brands of 511, but guys, you gotta understand, they've been around for a long time. Uh, if you look here, you see it's got this deep cargo pocket. Now, what's interesting about this pocket, it's got uh, a zipper pull, hold on, there you go. It's got a zipper pull that is easy to open. When you uh, get inside there, there are two magazine holders uh, the pocket is pretty deep, but when you uh, close it up, because of the fabric, the way it sits, it doesn't print that much. Now, the belt loops are, are reinforced uh, with, I believe they call it a Bartac stitching. Bartac is when the, the, the sewing machine goes back on itself. And you can see again that there is that robust rear belt loop. If you look closely on, on the back side there, there is a, a, a slot where you can stick a, a pretty large handcuff key inside and it's going to disappear. There is a full gusseted crotch, which if you're Chuck Norris 
Uh, it really helps when you get those high kicks. But for everybody else, it is good if you are running, uh, getting into awkward positions without blowing out the pants. Uh, you can see more Bartek stitching, which reinforces the fabric and uh, it, it holds up very well. The material is lightweight, but unlike the, the Vaporlite short, it is not as loose fitting, so the uh, you don't feel that air coming through it. Uh, one last thing on the 511 uh, Apex Pant is the articulated knees. So there you have it, uh, the Apex Pant, really good choice. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look overtly tactical. Some of the other pants with cargo pockets tend to look, you know, like guy carrying a gun. Uh, we want to avoid that at all costs. We want to blend in. This does come in other colors than khaki. Um, you might want to try that, again, not to uh, be that tactical, everyday carry type of guy. Uh, you could also probably use these for work in some situations uh, so that khaki will come in handy. I like the ability to put a lot of stuff in here and still conceal it. The handcuff key is pretty cool. On a scale out of 10, I give this a Firearms Nation solid nine and a half. Good product, I use it a lot. The Vaporlite short, I really like this short. I like the way it feels. Kind of has that silk boxer feel if, if you've ever had that before. Uh, the material is, is very soft, it's loose. In the summer months, this is gonna be my go-to short. Uh, the pockets are good. However, uh, once you start putting stuff in those pockets because of the material, it starts to print a little bit more than necessary. And if you do carry your gun or uh, something you're trying to conceal in your pocket, be warned that this could uh, print more than you'd want it to print. Overall though, uh, Solid uh, recommend. I'll give this an eight and a half out of 10. And there you have it, short and sweet. I uh, hope you like it. If there's something that you want to hear about or, or see me review, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. That way you're notified of new content once I post it. This is Arik for Firearms Nation. Join the nation.